to the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Rossetti Wordsworth. Jenny and Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Oh, come on, it's time to go home now. Finish what you're doing. Good. Right. Story makers. <laughs> It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Rosetti Wordsworth, magical story maker, here to make stories with you. Hello. <laughs> Rosetti, you look um, different today. Mm. Yeah, yes, I'm sorry if I'm late. I got caught in the most terrible jam. <gasps> jam! I love jam. Yes, me no, no. too. <laughs> uh, uh, raspberry or strawberry? <laughs> yes. Cherry or lemon? Oh, can you get lemon jam? Um, yeah, I'll get jam. <laughs> no, a traffic <laughs> jam. <laughs> Jam? What do you spread that on? No, it's not a jam you eat. Oh. Um, I got stuck in the most terrible traffic and oh. uh, it's when all the cars get jammed together. Oh. Look, look, look. Um, so on the road, there's a car in front of a car in front of a car and none of them can move. Oh, I think I'd rather be stuck in real jam. <laughs> <laughs> what a pair of jammy jokers you are. <laughs> now, this is me on my bike. Oh, yes. And I couldn't go down this road. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't go down this road. Oh. And I certainly couldn't go down this road. Oh, oh, it took me forever and a night to get here. Oh, you should have gone round the edge on the floor. No traffic there. Oh, oh very funny, oh, Jackson. What you needed was my police car. Woo, 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 oh, woo, oh, woo, 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 I think we'd have got out of woo, Jelly's woo, way. Woo, <laughs> woo, yes, my very woo, noisy woo, belly jean. Woo, um, woo, why don't we use the police car to make a story? Oh, yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> no, no, I was enjoying that. <laughs> One police car for a story. And we need your help too. Mm -hmm. All you need is a little imagination. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. Come on, story machine. It's a playbook. It's called Traffic Jam. It was drive time at the nursery. Pedalling and pushing. Around and along. Up the hill. And down again. Nice and slowly. And incredibly fast. Uh, uh, boom! Crash! Clump! Wallop! A huge, great traffic jam built up on the path. And no amount of hooting or beeping would budge it. It was the biggest traffic jam ever. Maria saw the traffic jam from the slide and knew just what to do. 
she went to the dressing up box indoors and started to look for something. A builder's hat? That wouldn't stop the beeping. A black floppy hat? No good at all. What was she looking for? What has she found? The traffic was still jammed until Maria arrived with a police hat on to save the day. Hello! The jam soon cleared and drive time began all over again. Along the path, around the play area and down the hill. All thanks to Policewoman Maria. <laughs> Policewoman Maria did a good job of sorting out the traffic. She certainly did. I, I imagine Jelly would do a good job too. <laughs> so woo, do woo, I. Woo, woo, Jelly's woo. gonna... Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> uh, Rosetti, uh, why do you wear those special things to ride your bike? Oh, they keep me as safe as houses. What? <laughs> it's a saying, as safe as houses. Oh. This helmet protects my head, uh -huh. these elbow pads protect my elbows, and these gloves protect my... <laughs> your hands! Ah, good Jackson, you're catching <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, I would love to ride a bike, but um, it sounds a bit dangerous to me. Oh, well, my little pink ball of fluff, you do mm. have to be careful. Yes. But that's why I wear these things. Mm. But listen, what? it's great fun riding a bike. Really? Look! <laughs> it's your bike! <laughs> Here I go! Whee! Hi, Rosetti! Hi, Jelly! <laughs> Rosetti, it does look fun! Oh. oh! What's the matter? Oh, no! A flat tyre! I hope I haven't got a puncture. Oh, well, it wasn't me. I didn't punch you. <laughs> <laughs> a puncture. A flat tyre. Well, uh, how do you mend that thing? Pump. Oh, 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 what do you do with that? I'll use it to pump more air into the tyre so I can ride my bike again. Ah. Um, Rosetti, um, does it take a long time? Probably. Oh, because um, I could make a, a story while you're doing it. Oh. Good idea. Yes, uh, I'll find something for a bicycle story. Mm. <laughs> I think I'd like a story about a bike. So, here goes. In you go. Will you help me with your imaginations? Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. What's it going to be? Ah, it's a Barnacle Rock story. And it's called Spindly Spinnerfish. Mm. Papa Clam and Ellie say hi. Hey! Little Ian e Harry say ho. Oh. Hey! With Grub and Electra, they're gonna search for treasure. Down amongst the barnacles of Barnacle Rock. Once upon a tide at Barnacle Rock, Ellie, Gruff and Harry were teaching Littley the Oaky Floaty. Your whole self in, your whole self out, in, out, in, out, he's making all about. Suddenly, Electra fizzed by in a shower of sparks. Hey, watch out! There's a spindly spinnerfish about! Everybody hide! She hissed. Hid and gobble! Wailed the barnacles. Oh, bless my curly coils! I'm sure I saw something! Electra hissed. Oh, yes, it's still there on the seabed. Look! Electra nodded towards a very curious creature. It was round with spindly bits and it was spinning. What can it be? whispered Ellie. It's a giant starry fish. Littley chortled. Come on. Grumped Gruff. Let's take a closer look. Oh, the creatures floated over to the strange visitor. 
gosh, it's making me feel giddy because it's so spinny, giggled Ellie. Slow down, mate, grumbled Gruff. You're giving me an headache. Oh, it's not listening, hissed Electra. How rude! I'll try and slow it down, called Ellie, flinging herself on top of the creature. It is isn't she brave? cried the barnacles. Whoa! Yeah. Ellie twirled around with the spindly spinner fish. Oh, Dad! Chortled Little. That looks like fun! And before Harry could stop her, she jumped on. Oh, Little! Oh, for goodness sake! No! Come back, Little! shouted Harry. Hopper Clam, wake up, Queen! cried the barnacles. Hopper Clam appeared from under the sand. When he saw his friends spinning around, he roared with laughter. <laughs> it's all right, Barnacles. They won't get nobbled. Look, it's slowing down now. Sure enough, the spindly fish slowly stopped spinning. Ellie and Nittily jumped off. Isn't the spinny fish whizzy, Papa Clam? Giggled Littley. That there spinning thing isn't a fish, Littley, my girl. Afford Papa Clam. <laughs> it's a bicycle wheel. Oh, and what's a bicycle, Mr. Clever Clam? Hissed Electra. It's um, a, a thing with two wheels. The children up top ride about on them to get where they're going. I think I'll stick to swimming if you don't mind. Grumbled Gruff. <laughs> That's the end of our giddy adventure for today. Ellie giggled. <laughs> so the spindly spinner fish <laughs> was a wheel, like the wheels on your bicycle, mm. Rosetta. Uh, yes, indeed. Mm. Oh, and wheel, wheel rhymes with. Um, um, oh, um, feel. Oh, <laughs> and it rhymes with. <laughs> Meal! <laughs> oh, well done, my cherubs. I wonder if you can guess what I would like to drive. Ooh, a bike? No. A police car. Woo, 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 woo. I'll give you a clue. Uh, if I could ride around on wheels, one thing I'd like to be, I'd let on people all day long and say, you Tickets, please. <laughs> With a ding ding here. And a ding ding there. And a ding dong. Move along, we're nearly there. <laughs> if he could ride around on wheels, a bus driver yes, he would be. You guessed it, a bus driver. <laughs> That's what I want to be. Do it again, do it again. Oh, all right. Um, if I could ride around on wheels, one thing I'd like to be. I'd let on people all day long and say, your ticket. Please, with a ding ding, 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 ding here and, and a, a ding, ding ding there and a ding dong move along. We're nearly there. If, if I could, could ride around, around on wheels, wheels a bus driver I would, would be. Stop! 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 Stop, stop the bus! Stop! Rosetti! Stop! What are you doing? I am the lollipop lady. Oh. I stop the traffic and let the children cross the busy road. Oh. Oh, I love. Lollipop. <laughs> oh, not so fast, Belly Jean. I'm using this lollipop for a story. <gasps> All right, Come let's make a story. <laughs> and you can help too. Are you ready? <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Come on, story machine. <laughs> And it's called Blue Cow and the Lollipop Lady. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders. Wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day Blue Cow saw lots of cars passing her field. Oh, I wonder how you get across busy roads. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to somewhere very busy, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a very busy road.
And then they arrived. Blue Cow was on the side of a very busy road. Cars and lorries were passing right and left. On the other side of the road, a chicken was trying to cross. Oh, hello, chicken, shouted Blue Cow. Are you having a spot of bother? I've been trying to cross this road all day. Can you help me? Blue Cow wondered and wondered and wondered how to help. She could have gone on wondering all day if a lady hadn't suddenly lollipopped up beside her. Hello, ducks, said the lady. She was holding on to a large circle with a funny picture on it. I'm Lorna, the lollipop lady. I'll help your friend the chicken. Follow me. They walked a few yards down the road and found a patch with black and white stripes on it. Zebra crossing, said Lorna. Ooh, where? exclaimed Blue Cow. She'd never seen a zebra before and wanted to know how it would get across the road. Here, said Lorna, pointing to the stripes. This is a zebra crossing. She held out her lollipop, for that, Blue Cow realised, was what the circle was, and stepped onto the crossing. All the cars and lorries stopped, and Blue Cow crossed the road, looking left and right as she did so. When they got to the other side, they looked for the chicken, but it was nowhere to be seen. There she was, on the opposite side. Well done, chicken, said Blue Cow. You made it across. I oh, know. Now can you help me get back again? Blue Cow was confused. Why does the chicken want to cross the road, Lorna? To get to the other side, of course. <laughs> Laughed Lorna as she walked off to help the chicken once more. Ooh, I see. Ooh, oh dear. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been helping a chicken cross the road. Everyone knows cows can't help chickens cross the road. But we know they can, don't we? Oh, what a kind lollipop lady. Listen, what a busy road. Mm. Oh, look. The sun is on sleeping its beams. Oh, no. All story makers must be hidden away before it wakes. Yes, the librarian will be coming soon. Yes, and the children. <laughs> Dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, Come back story soon. makers. Stories are fabulous, stories Thanks are fun. Thanks for helping. Bye. Come and make some more stories soon. <laughs>